Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to cover the OSINT tools that you can use, that hackers use to gain information on anyone. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So I'm just gonna keep giving you these tools, right? Number one, we have the OSINT framework. And the OSINT framework is a crucial web-based tool for researchers organizing open source intelligence resources by source type and context it is a widely used you know across sectors including government law and enforcement and corporate security to meet diverse data gathering needs community contributions continuously enhance the framework while its operation adheres to legal standards like gdpr to ensure ethical data collection number two we have google dorks and google dorks in use since 2002, right? It lasted the test of time, offering specialized queries that harness Google's vast indexing to aid in security investigations. These queries can locate specific file types, extensions, text within pages, titles, and URLs, tools invaluable for exploring details about individuals and companies. Despite search engines typically not indexing sensitive data like log files, Google dorks can still unearth such information, providing a critical resource for IT security. Next, the Harvester, included in the Kali Linux distribution, is a comprehensive tool that used to gather information about subdomains, virtual hosts, open ports, and email addresses related to any company or website. The Harvester utilizes sources such as PGP key servers, search engines like Google and Bing, and social networks like LinkedIn to collect data supporting both passive reconnaissance and active uh, penetration tests. This tool is particularly useful for the initial stages of penetration testing on both local and third-party authorized networks. Next is Security Trails API. So the Security Trails API allows you you know, instant access to current DNS server records and historical records known as DNS history, uh, domain details and associated domains, IP information, as well as who is data. So you can integrate it within your own applications for asset discovery, threat intelligence, risk scoring, and much more. The best part is that you only need an HTTP request to retrieve data. Uh, next, we have the PGP view, effortlessly, effortlessly track PGP routing information and IP address data with PGP view, simplifying network monitoring tasks, analyzing network configurations, identify security threats and monitor routing changes seamlessly. This intuitive uh, network tool offers comprehensive insights accessible directly from your browser enabling informed decision to optimize network performance, identify threat actor origin, and much more. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment right now, right now to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Hit that button right now. Next, we have the recorded futures vulnerability uh, database. So access detailed vulnerability information from this free CVE DB. This tool provides invaluable insights for security teams to stay ahead of emerging CVEs. It includes useful information such as CVSS score, attack complexity level, availability, a summary of each CVE, along with affected products and mitigation resources. Number seven, we have a triage malware sandbox, and you can explore malware samples for free uh, with one of the most advanced and popular malware analysis sandboxes. This platform offers a customizable environment where you can submit high volumes of malware samples, enabling detection and extraction of configurations for a wide range of malware families. Next, we have Mitica. Uh, this is an OSINT browser extension that can help you boost your daily operations, offering intuitive access to diverse intelligence gathering features for efficient reconnaissance and investigative tasks. Um, it was developed with a user-centric approach, right? This is more user-friendly, more user-friendly. So Mitica seamlessly integrates multiple OSINT modules, enabling comprehensive analysis of target entities. 
So then we have the recorded, uh, you know, the recorded future browser extension. You can easily, you know, access intelligence data from any web-based resource with this threat intelligence browser extension. Streamlining security operations, this OSINT extension will help you investigate phishing emails, which is very important in today's climate, right? Phishing emails is one of the top priorities of uh, cybersecurity corporate uh, postures. Detecting IOCs, prioritizing vulnerability patching, and expedite alert processing within your SIEM, S-I-E-M. So uh, then we have, have Have I Been Pawned, and Have I Been Pawned can help you check uh, if your account has been compromised in the past, this site was developed by Troy Hunt, one of the most respected IT security professionals in this market, uh, and is you know it's been serving accurate reports for years. So if you su suspect that your account has been compromised or want to verify uh, for third-party compromises on external accounts, this is the tool for you, right? It can track down. Uh, web compromises from many resources like Gmail and your favorite Hotmail and your favorite Yahoo accounts, as well as Last.fm, Kickstarter, WordPress.com, uh, you know, LinkedIn and many other popular websites. Next, we have Built With, and this serves as a comprehensive profiler for identifying the various technologies deployed on websites from server frameworks to analytics and content management systems. It delivers in-depth analysis of web setups, crucial for compet competitive uh, intelligence and technology strategy development. This tool is vital for those seeking insights into the tech infrastructure of digital platforms. Next, we have Shodan, or Shodan, and it was conceived by John Matherly in 2009. It serves as a network security monitor and specialized search engine for the deep web and IoT, right? It enables users to explore a plethora of network connected devices, organizing results by country, operating system, and network type, providing invaluable insights for IT security researchers. Next, we have Spiderfoot. Spideyfoot, Spideyfoot. <laughs> it's developed by Steve uh, M. <laughs> And stands out as you know a top reconnaissance tool for automating OSINT with swift results in reconnaissance, threat intelligence, and parameter monitoring. It harnesses over 100 public data sources to gather intelligence on various targets, including gener uh, generic names, domain names, email addresses, and IP addresses, simplifying the process through easy-to-use module selection and target specification. Uh, lastly, we have Multigo, developed by uh, Paterva and featured in the Kali Linux distribution. And it is a robust tool designed for detailed digital reconnaissance of targets. It utilizes transforms to integrate and analyze data from external applications available in both free and commercial versions, right? So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.